Hi, I'm Dan Rittman, Director of Engineering here at Exact Technologies. I'd like to talk to you today about a new feature that we've introduced in our 2.9 version of Exact Vision software. Um, it is the event button feature on the client and the soft trigger feature on the server. These features are useful um, in a situation where you have a live monitoring application. For example, you may be remotely monitoring a building from a, a client remotely, and you have an exact vision server in your building. And if you, if you see suspicious activity, you may want to sound a buzzer in your uh, remote building or turn on a light. For my demonstration purposes today, I've got my server that would be located remotely in a building, a buzzer attached to that server, and I'm going to be configuring and operating this from a client on my laptop which could be remote from the server. The concept of the soft trigger on the server um, is works with our the event linking feature that has been in the server since the beginning, which is a, a powerful feature that allows us to take input events, such as the input triggers on the back of the box or things like video motion, and cause the server, when, when one of those events happens, to perform an action. And we do that from the configuration event linking page. I'm now on the configuration page here for this server, and I'm on the event linking configuration. I'm going to create a new event linkage. My event type is going to be a soft trigger. I'm going to create a new soft trigger, and I'll name it relay. Since the relay output of this server is what we're going to drive the buzzer with, select OK. The action type for this soft trigger is the output trigger, and the relay is output trigger 1. And I hit apply. So I've now created a new event. The soft trigger is the, is the input source. I've created a new soft trigger called relay. The event action type is the output trigger. And the action target is trigger one, which I have connected to my buzzer. Now from live mode, I can press the new soft trigger icon, and it shows me a list of all the soft triggers that have been created on servers to which my client is connected. Now I see the new soft trigger called relay, and if I check the box to activate that soft trigger, you can hear the buzzer sounding. And I can turn it off, and the buzzer goes off. So another application of soft triggers that, that has been requested is the concept of a, a video wall or a virtual matrix where we can switch the videos that are being displayed on a, on a video wall. And to do this, we'll use the, the soft triggers in conjunction with the event monitoring feature that's been in our, in our software since the 2.7 release. I have pre-created a couple event monitoring profiles one called video wall one and one called video wall two. So I'm going to cause this video panel to subscribe to the video wall one uh, event monitoring profile and this video panel will subscribe to the video wall two profile. Again for my client that's, that's located remotely to, to, this, to this client, I can open the soft trigger um, menu and I can select a soft trigger and I know because I've just created this, that when I select this soft trigger, it's going to cause the back door camera to be displayed in this video panel. So I'll select it, and there we go. I can change the camera that's displayed here to our conference room by selecting this button. Now, this video panel was set up to listen to video wall one. I've got an independent profile that this panel is listening to, and I will select now a soft trigger that's associated with that profile, and when I press this button, it's going to cause this video panel to go to the, to the lobby camera. And it did. And I can change that again to, uh, to the office that, that we're presently in. And there's Roger filming our video.